Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion. Uh, probably does greed mode for a hundred years to grind into 999 coins. Um, we got the lost for greed mode left. And we have Maggie. And Blue Baby. Oh lord. Maggie. We'll try. I feel like Blue Baby's gonna be the hardest next to the lost just because of the HP situation, but I could be wrong. Cracker Jack starts us with HP and Flatworm. Acceptable. Not incredible, but acceptable. Um, you think we can get like four? We got all four and ended up getting a black heart, which is basically just half of a black heart, but that's okay. Is there anything I want here? I think absolutely red candle is a good enough space bar item to consider taking that over uh, yum heart. Because of the offensive punch. An offensive punch, you know, is not just for uh, your... Uh, there's a joke in there somewhere about a Halloween party that's about telling jokes that make people upset. I don't know. You know, work on it yourself in your own time. That's your assignment for this week. But uh, we need some offensive punch if we're going to make this work. And I'm not talking about no high C that you've left in your fridge for a couple of months because you're uh, lazy about cleaning it out. You don't care about food safety. What's who? Uh, how many people in Earth's history have ever died of food poisoning? Probably like four or five, uh, right? Maybe four or five billion. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just trying to grind up some coins. Which is probably the worst idea I could think of with what to do with coins. Instead, perhaps we should uh, try to spend them at our nearest uh, shop with a P and an E at the end. Uh, I think we might have some like a brief invincibility when enemies spawn. Now it definitely seemed like. If I had been in the position that I was just in when the, the wave before this one spawned, I would have expected to take damage before the patch. Perhaps the patch has given us what people have asked for and, you know, now does not instantly hurt us when an enemy uh, spawns on top of us, which definitely makes it more doable as the Lost. Of course, it'll also lead to a lot of people being like, well, I beat green mode as the, with the Lost before uh, they fixed it so that it wasn't bullshit anymore. But, you know, that's yeah, I, I can't go back in time. If I could turn back time, Beating the loss with greed mode, or beating the greed mode with the loss before they made it easier would probably be high on my list of things to do right after, uh, you know, make a quadrillion dollars because I've got infinite amount of, uh, you know, stock market money now. Probably the worst red candle shot I've ever made in my life. Okay, that's not the best, uh, the best showing so far. Okay, Widow jump. Not do a Widow jump. I said Widow jump. As in, that's your name. Snoop Doggy Dog. Okay. Four gurglings. This is not a well. Two gurglings and then these ra random enemies. Not a problem. Probably should stop stepping on the creep if I had to guess. Got him to run around the fire. You know, as a start. Probably would prefer if he stayed in the fire, but you know, we can work on the specifics at a later date. One is dead. One of them just walked into the fire by himself. We will buy a key at this point. Um, did we, maybe we could use Yum Heart? Might as well. Now, before people get really bent out of shape, you can't use the reroll pedestal to reroll the pedestal, if that makes sense. Celtic Cross for Greed Mode, I think, is actually pretty good. Um, what I mean by that, because it sounds nonsensical, is that I can't use the reroll pedestal to reroll the Yum Heart. We need a D6 or a Perthrow rune to do that, so, um, unfortunately, we're kind of shit out of luck in that regard. That's okay. I still think Red Candle was worth picking up. Even though it did set us back, you know, 15 cents. It is uh, the kind of space bar item we can stick with for the rest of the game and actually get, like, really good value out of. So let's check out our deal with the devil. I, I don't love the idea of going so low right now, but I think we have to give it a try for Guppy. And, you know, the respawn might help us out. I hope that it doesn't, but it might. Because if it does, that means we died, but... Uh, this still might be worth it, even though it puts us pretty low. And the pentagram is kind of a no-brainer. So, getting some extra damage, also very useful. Flatworm is the kind of trinket that I could do without if we get something better, but for now I'm happy. Really hoping that was uh, going to be a guppy item. Obviously wasn't, but life goes on. Hit the button. That's alright. I don't mind. More enemies. I'm hoping maybe they drop a consumable. Can that even happen like this? No. <laughs> I'd like to buy uh I'd like to buy the HP, but to start with, why don't we buy five cents worth of keys, which is one, and that'll give us Aquarius. Uh, it's a bit of a whiff, to be honest with you. Um, but that's okay. 
As long as we don't die during like our first phase here, long enough to like get to the get to the boss fight at least. Uh, boss fights, I guess I should say. I think we'll be okay. We can always buy a red heart if we have to. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. Hopefully we don't need it. I really also wish that uh, we got the red candle charge back every time we uh, cleared a wave or any time another wave spawned. Because as of right now, I'm like, it's a little shitty, isn't it? A wave spawns, we don't have our, uh, our red candle charge back. Didn't need it there. But, uh, you know, the trade-off is that instead of that, we actually get to recharge it multiple times per wave. But, God damn it, I want to have my cake and eat it too. Because that way I have a, have a cake, look at it. Have a cake, it's a symbolic gesture of a happy birthday or something like that. Sure, I mean, I don't disagree with our society's symbols of, of birthdays and sweet confectionaries, but at the same time, what's a cake without being eaten? You know, it's a car that can't drive. It's a chicken sandwich with no, you know, hot sauce on the side. Uh, we'll take this. And we may get super lucky. And get enough money to... I mean, I should, at this point, I should just know how much money we get from each wave. But I'm still such a greed mode novice. Everybody loves the Hot Bombs Foreigner parody. But there is one that's like... You're looking at a greed mode novice with stars in his eyes. You know, it's not really there yet. But one day it might get there. Hot Bombs wasn't built overnight. It was actually built in, in much less than one night. Just a fraction of, a, you know, a, a minute really. A, you know, 2% of one Isaac episode. Let's fight our next enemies right now. Um, I gotta admit, I'm a little scared. <laughs> HP is in a real tough spot. Uh, hopefully we don't fight Krampus right now, because I can't even go into the shop before it. Okay, we'll fight Krampus right now. Um, well, if we die immediately, we'll just restart our greed mode run. Nah, we can't take Krampus' head, dog. Sorry. Uh take these two which is probably not necessary but that's okay we'll head down to our next floor and hopefully we'll, we'll start with a little bit more momentum than I ended up getting there um, but yeah you know not to not to be negative but we're not in a great position right now number one priority is just knocking down those post-it notes so we can um, you know get a little closer to completion a eh, little Gertie's fine man Extra HP is also fine. But uh, I would like to beat Creed Mode and donate a lot as well, if that's possible. You can argue that probably I shouldn't have even checked this, but we got three cents for it. Um, synth Oil would be a good pickup here. Money and the heart, please. Ooh, two cents and a red heart for a bomb. Technically, in this mode, that's a good trade right now, but I was hoping for a little bit kind of more. So we are... Probably, like, a little stronger than we'd have to be to beat these waves uh, in time. But not by much. That's for darn sure. So, uh, I would like to kind of amp up the damage a little bit. I'd like to pump, pump the jam, pump it up while our feet are stumping, if possible. And other various songs from the 90s classic compilation, Jock Jams. I just realized how ridiculous a name Jock Jams sounds in 2015. It sounds like porno music, but it was actually music you played in ninth grade gym class. You want to get pumped up for doing 20 laps around the half gym. Laps around the half gym. High school gym. We should check out our, our room in here. Um... I don't know. I mean, the synth oil pickup I'm very happy with. The rest, I'm like, oh, it's it's so tight. Like, is it worth getting the box that could give us a better trinket? You know, it's going to give us a red heart. It's going to give us a little bit of our money back. Could even give us a nickel back. Ooh, uh, sorry for invoking the name of they who shall not be named. Canadian country rock princes. Um, or should we just go for the reroll instead? I almost feel like we're in reroll country because... Uh, I, I, I worry that we need something truly incredible, and we don't have anything close to something truly incredible. We have something truly in candle. Blank card, it doesn't work without anything to, to work with it, so... 
Sure, we'll reroll, and 2020 is what we need. And you know what? On top of that, I'm just going to take this. Jar of Flies can be good. We've made it work in greed mode before. Um, and by can be good, I mean is awesome. <laughs> Don't let me phrase it like it's an item that's only good in some situations. No, it's, it's an item that's got it going on at all times. This is the worst wave, man. You remember the television show Worst Witch? This is the worst wave. Cage Mega Fatty. Just a nightmare. Luckily, Mega Fatty's being very kind and is barely jumping. And he is going to go down. We're not going to get hit here, which is actually kind of incredible to me, given that these enemies are heinous. And we get a second guppy item. We got to We got to Let's head down to the next floor. We have no resources whatsoever. <laughs> but we are close to becoming Guppy with 20-20 and good damage. I'm starting to think this run might actually be able to make it work. Hmm. I think we take Torn Photo. But it's not an incredibly easy decision. Well. Yeah, that was expected. Um, it's not an incredibly easy decision. Torn Photo is a great DPS upgrade. But... Super Bandage also is a, is a really good HP upgrade. One of the best HP upgrades in the game. It doesn't give you anything else, but... You know, that's that can be secondary if all you really need is HP to begin with. Where's our red ghost? Oh, Jesus. What have I done? We managed to kill that one very quickly. Lucky us, man. I know we missed the end of that wave. But we managed to make this work. Oh, my God. There's one more ghost left? It's getting a little out of control with the whole ghosts. Who do you think you are? Patrick Swayze, Demi Moore, and uh, Whoopi Goldberg? I'd be surprised. I'd be surprised for several reasons. Demi Moore's busy. Whoopi Goldberg's probably busy. Is Hollywood Square still on the air? Seems like one of those shows that you don't think about for a while, and then you're like, wait a minute. That's been on the air for 82 years. Oh, Free Spirit Heart. Definitely should have walked in here uh, earlier. Sissy long legs, lump of coal. I think a half price sissy long legs is worth buying. We have to buy a pyromaniac. We so have to buy a pyromaniac that I am going to forgo buying the key to get into our item room because I think that pyromaniac is so valuable that it needs to be given like 100% guaranteed chance to happen. Well, after we buy a pyromaniac, we'll get bombs and we should be able to use these bombs to to get some money or get resources that can somehow maybe benefit us into getting a key. But um, for now, we 100% have to get Pyromaniac. You know, get away from me! Greed, um, Ultra Greed, I should say, not to disrespect you. Please, Ultra Greed is my father. Just call me Greed. Um, has uh, explosions. So if we could... Uh, Make those explosions work for us, then that's great. See, here's what I mean. Pyromaniac, great pickup. Got HP back and a spirit heart. And then over here, we got a chest. So we'll get HP back and whatever's in the chest, which in this case was more HP and another bomb. And then we'll blow these jokers up. We'll get more HP, two cents. We'll take those two cents, buy a key. Take the key. Get common cold. Was it worth it? I mean, it, common cold... Is not incredible necessarily, but I think it's good enough. And because we're so close to becoming... Oh, nice. Because we're so close to becoming Guppy, I think we have to check this. It's a red chest. It's not a Guppy item. But it is sort of healing. <laughs> not the sort of healing. But, uh... We would have healed if we had needed to heal. Oh, come on. Bait him into standing still for a second here. Good, 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 good. He's touching the red poop. Judge, he's touching the red poop. He should be dead as far as I'm concerned. Ah, oh, shit. Not smart damage. Very not smart damage, but a deal with the devil. And that is not a guppy dream, but HP is HP, man, and we're going to need it. Luck up. Okay, I think at this point we start saving our bombs. Um, I'm less concerned... Well, unless we need to heal, but... I'm less concerned about... Having money, more concerned about just making the, the run work. Safety pin is okay at best, if we're being honest. Another red chest. That's not a guppy item. 
All right, are, is there a valuable use for bombs right now? It's it's tempting. I'll admit it's tempting. Um, tell you what, let's try. Get some good conversions here. We don't need any more. Okay, that's fine. Gotta be a little smarter. This is not gonna be as easy a run as, uh... Oh, that was such bad damage. Not gonna be as easy a run as some of the, the green modes we've had recently, but we have some decent stuff working for us that we should be able to use to our advantage. Uh, you know what? I, I really wanted to leave that guy alive so that we could uh, explode him close to the, the potential Tinted Rock Fire over there. Tinted Rock Fire is, of course, the name of the um, electronic band that plays at Chuck E. Cheese. They open for the Rock Fire explosion. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Kill me! No, I, I thought that those guys would explode near those things, and obviously I've botched it a little bit, but that's, uh, that's unfortunate. Good, good, good. Keep it going. This is uh, one of the few times recently where we've been strong enough to just kind of continually do the waves. So, um, you know, it's like we're at a, our first sporting event. Let's just do the wave, guys. Wait till he splits, and then we're going to hit them both with some red candle action. Sorted us out quite nicely there. And then finally, double double gate is not bad. Con compared to Cage Mega Fatty, this is like a, a day at the amusement park. Well, you're, oh, well, it's not double gate. It's Cage Gate. That's all right. As long as he never does his jump attack again, we're, we're set, man. Who is uh, an exclusive boss I'm allowed to reveal from Mega Man 12. Oh, Cursed Eye, how could you? It's like the one item I don't want right now out of a red chest is Cursed Eye, but okay. Take that. We get Cricket's Head. Absolutely worth the cost of doing business. Absolutely 100%. Also, should have played that guy twice as fast, but now we've got Invincibility. So we want Demon Judgment to pay out. He should pay out. We get Gimpy. Huge item for us here. We got a bomb. That's actually very valuable. Try to reroll these items. I thought there was another torn photo for sale and I got a little excited. Uh, I'm almost thinking that we just try to facilitate like chaos so we have a better chance of getting a guppy item. Oh man, okay. Use a bomb. Squeezy is worth it. Tiny Planet is not. That's about as well as we can do here. Uh, the tiers upgrade is fine. We'll be able to buy a key on our next floor. We don't need a key on our next floor, right? We're getting we're getting close to the end. Yeah, this is our second to last floor, so we do not need a key. Good. Basically paid for itself to come in here. Um, toothpicks would be worth getting. Invincibility. There's our invincibility. And actually, it did show up in time. Missing page two is okay. Paralysis is a bad pill, but we didn't get it at a bad time. Okay. Okay, this is fine. The, the really tough thing is obviously going to be the, the Ultra Greed fight at this point. Unless we get markedly stronger, which is pretty... is going to be tough to do. We will have one more deal with the Devil. A Guppy pickup would be so nice. Admittedly, nine lives might be kind of shitty for us, but... Just pop up, please. You have like one second left to clear this wave. Um, yeah, nine lives might be kind of bad, but I probably still like the ability to have the flies, so I'd probably still go for it. Easy enough. This was a very easy wave, actually. We might just want to save our money, because with Red Candle, this could be winnable at the amount of HP we have. Now, I'm expecting to lose some HP... You know, at some point here. We haven't done so yet, which is lucky for us, but... That easily could have done it right there. Alright. Oh, those are not my little haunts. <laughs> uh, we can reroll a little bit. Let's take toothpicks. I think toothpicks is worth it. And then we'll start jamming on the reroll machine a little bit just to see if there's anything we want. And Skinny Odd Mushroom is debatable, but we might not have too much of a choice. Our choices are going to boil down to, like, save your money, or... Oh, that was such terrible dodging. Save your money, or spend it all. And and take something that is maybe meaningful, but not, not that meaningful, probably, if we're being honest. Didn't think those guys would be faster than me. 
I also thought I was invincible. Not a great excuse. Taking a lot more damage than I'd like to admit right now. Is there another stain still alive? There must be. He's, ah! He's, he's hiding! At least we got a spirit heart back out of Gimpy. And we killed him quickly. Come on, give me a cheap guppy transformation. Oh, that is not a cheap guppy transformation. Yeah, the invincibility is good here. Somehow give me a Perthrow rune, please. Oh, ceremonial robes is really good. I don't think we need the ability to fly. I don't think we want to to play Judgment. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think we need Necronomicon. Red Candle's much better. So, let's donate a little bit. Fanny Pack could be good as well. I don't really want the D100, to be honest with you. For the first time ever, he says. I mean, the Halo's worth it, but... I think we just stick with what we've got right now and be content to donate as much money as possible. Um, so, let's try it. I think we'll be okay. I hope I'm not mistaken. If I've misjudged it terribly, then that's unfortunate, but, uh... I think that we'll be just fine here. Just fine. Hopefully we get some bombs? Yeah, two bombs. I mean, I guess that's you get your choice of, uh, of money or bombs there. I will choose a little of both. But I'll try to use uh, Ultra Greed's own bomb tiers to heal me as much as is possible. Uh, the keys must go, though. That's good enough. We might leave one alive accidentally. That's not really a major problem, as you can see. And the Ultra Greed fight is seeming very, very doable right now. Especially when he stands right next to the door and just spawns minions that can get shit on easily. Keys again. He's red candle. Oh, we got him. Okay. Now remember, the more we donate to Ultra Greed, I think the harder he gets. That's not really the way I meant to phrase that. But um, I'm not thinking that like just because we're shitting on Ultra Greed now, it's like, oh, I've mastered him. Ultra Greed's a little bitch now. I figured out how to kill him. No, I think he's gotten easier in the patch so that there's room for him to get harder later. Okay, so I'm waiting for these bombs to heal me, hopefully. Not, I mean, I didn't expect to get healed, sorry, but uh, I expected to not get hurt. So that maybe we can get healed later. Red Candle's doing work. More bombs, please. More keys. These are the worst, potentially. Because they're distracting. And we missed one, but again, life goes on. Not smart damage, but halfway through the fight, we've barely been hit. Little Gertie is doing a uh, little work that I needed to get accomplished, and no more keys. Bombs. Acceptable. Absolutely. I don't know why he turns blue during the bombs. I wonder if he gets healed by them as well, or if he just makes himself insulated so he doesn't take damage from the explosions or something. I hope he killed the key that was in there. I think we only opened one door. That's not too bad. I mean, the crowd control is getting away from me a little bit, but it's not bad right now. That's just wasteful keys that actually were probably the most deleterious to us so far. Keys that actually move around and are not bombs. Oh, this is fine. Yeah, I guess he puts armor on or something like that. No keys, no keys. Bombs, beautiful. I don't mind it. It did blow my shots off course a little bit. We're like 80% of the way down here. We're definitely going to survive. You know what? I feel pretty proud of this one. Because it... Oh, you know what? You got me. <laughs> I feel proud of this one because it, it, it looked like it was going off course for a while. I mean, we were down to 1 HP and fighting Krampus. So, uh, I wouldn't say I was anxious, but I wasn't feeling super confident in the way things were going for us. And we ended up working it out. No more hearts, please. Oh, my fucking God. I don't know why I became a text-to-speech generator there. He's dead anyway. There we go. We're going to be able to donate like 11 cents. We lost a lot. Greed ate it. Sensor has appeared in the basement. All right, 0% chance for the greed machine to break. We're going to get over 200. No, we're going to get over 190 cents. What a day to be alive. Okay. At least we've accomplished that with Maggie. Now we can go for Blue Baby, which we'll probably do in the very next episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I will. See you next time.